Hey guys, this is Moritz for Tedra and we're live at the Intel Future Showcase and with me is Yuri. Um, so Yuri, Intel wants to talk about the future, what Intel thinks the future in personal computing is about. Um, you got this one interesting topic here which is called perceptual computing. Can you tell us a little about that? What, what, do, you, what, what do you understand in terms of perceptual computing? Perceptual computing is the new initiative by Intel which is to bring the senses that we humans have to the computers. So the computers can start understanding the human world much like we humans do. When we interact, we use eyes, voice, ears, and the computers up until today did not have as many such senses. So now we can start having the computer understand us whether we talk to it or we use the 3D aspect of our world to okay. communicate with it. So some things you would put under the name of perceptual computing that would be voice recognition, that would be like uh, image manipulation, webcam stuff you do, right? Any, anything else we, we can't see like from our perspective now? Anything else which is really far in the future? It starts with recognition of your face, okay. using your face as your password, using voice to control the machine, to control the environment, down into manipulation of the objects within the machine and making the human machine interaction natural, intuitive and immersive. Okay, cool. So you're gonna show us some demos now, right? Yep. Okay, so can you tell us what, what are we seeing in this demonstration? What's it about? So this is a virtual pet example where I have Mr. Mugi Moko and I can interact with him based on what I would like him to do. Well, more like what he would like to do. Right now he's looking for my face to do the face mimicry of my face. Okay. Now I sent him back. If I'm going to call him in again, now we're going to play rock, paper, scissors. What are you thinking? Scissors first? I'll go with the rock first. Oh, rock and rock. Although I would have lost with scissors, so that's already better. Ah, oh, scissors, scissors. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Come on, Mogi. <laughs> it's like he knew. It is like he, he knew. Mind. Oh, talk about immersive. All right, here's a paper airplane, Mugi. Okay, so this is basically like a Tamagotchi in, in 3D, right? Essentially, it's okay. like a virtual Tamagotchi. It's, the little guy is going to do what he wants to do and has different reactions to the same exact okay. actions. What about the technology you're using there? What's so special about the technology? It's just it's not just a regular webcam, is it? So It's not. This is a uh, depth camera, so it actually has uh, two aspects to it. One is the 720p webcam and the second one is the depth camera with the IR emitter. So the infrared emitter sends out a signal based on when the signal gets back. That's when it creates a depth map around us. Okay. So that's basically what we know from the Microsoft Kinect who did it first. Like it's a, there are multiple different ecosystem players. This one is meant for a very close range. So this is for okay. six inches to so a meter out. So you're sitting in front of your laptop, exactly. not far, far away from In the front of your seat. laptop, in front of your computer, and just very close human interaction with the machine. Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah. Uh, so Yuri, besides uh, the little monkey we just saw, you also have a little more like um, gamer-friendly uh, version of the whole technology. Um, wh what's this demo about? Can you tell us something about it? So for those who have played Portal before, it's a known fact that it was developed by Valve for PC. And as such, you're using a keyboard and a mouse. Mm -hmm. Now you're able to use, instead of the two two-dimensional devices, just one hand, which acts as a three-dimensional device. I can grab the object, and while having the ability to move left, right, up, down, I can also move now in. But it doesn't stop there, because now I can start rotating the cube just by simply rotating my hand. Okay, cool. So that's based on the same technology there? You need a 3D camera for that? You need specifically the creative uh, gesture camera, part of the perceptual initiative, and now you can start interacting with your PC in a completely different manner. You okay. Can see cool. So um, the whole technology there, how far is it? When, as a consumer, when can I buy this stuff? The uh, developers can get it now. Okay. It's available for developers today. The SDK is out already in the open. The consumers are going to see this second half of uh, 2013. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Yeah.